All right, recall when we had absolute values before, we said that the result of an absolute value always resulted in a positive number. So we had a special case before that we said an absolute value could never equal a negative number. That was just not possible. However, when you throw in an inequality, you have two special cases. So let's take a look at those. First, if an absolute value is less than a negative number. All right, let's think of this logically. No matter what I put in here, it's going to result in a positive number. No matter how complicated the equation, ultimately when I take the absolute value, this will be positive. And that means a positive number could never be less than a negative number. So this is no solution. This is not possible. So we can also use our little symbol, no solution. Okay. All right, let's think about the second case. If we have an absolute value which is greater than or equal to a negative number. Now think again. This means anything that's in here, no matter how complicated the equation, when I take the absolute value, it's going to result in a positive number. And any positive number is going to be greater than a negative number. And so in this case, we're going to have all numbers work. No matter what I put in there, it's going to result in a positive number. And so all real numbers will be the solution. So the trick again is to look to see once your absolute value is alone, if it is less than or less than or equal to, greater than or greater than or equal to a negative number, then you're going to get a special circumstance.